WB Games. Not so subtle foreshadowing. Hidden safe behind a painting cliche. How long till the boss gets here? He'll be here. This thug does not pay attention well, does he? The other guy said, how long till the boss gets here? Saying he'll be here does not properly answer that question. What the hell? Sorry to disappoint you boys. Oh, believe me, babe. You ain't disappointing at all. Here's the thing. Playing Catwoman first before Batman. Now, I personally don't have a problem with that. Hell, I don't think anybody has a problem with that. However, the game is called Batman Arkham City. This is the equivalent of playing the DLC before the actual game from which the DLC came from. See this door here? It's the only conventional way of getting in this room. So how is it that Two-Face managed to sneak up on Catwoman and to her right no less? I find it difficult to believe that Catwoman of all people would have terrible peripheral vision. Wake up, Mr. Wayne. We have much to discuss. We have much to discuss, cliche. You won't get away with this. I already have. <laughs> you won't get away with this. I already have, cliche. This is Vicki Vale, reporting live from Arkham City, the controversial super prison built right here in the heart of Gotham. I don't know what's more sinful. The concept of a city within a city or the egghead plan of building a super prison in the middle of the city. The former is a redundancy and the latter must have cost billions of dollars to put in place. Not to mention threatened the very lives of the people of Gotham. Well, they're both absurd, so they're both getting counted as sins. The infamous Playboy millionaire has never been one it's to- billionaire, Vicky. Millionaires are so last year. Aha, rich asshole bragging about how rich they are, cliche. Also, how in the hell did the city of Gotham spend that much money relocating all those prisoners to this one location? Why is Bruce Wayne the only one who finds that the least bit suspicious? I mean, it is Gotham, but that's still very sinful. These idiots shoot tear gas and then directly run into the position where they shot the tear gas. Without gas masks, mind you. Ah, one of the great enemies of modern video games returns. The overused first-person point of view of critical plot moments. And now that we have you, Protocol 10 is ready to begin. So let's cut to the chase, shall we? Protocol 10 is basically accumulating all the criminals into Arkham City and laying waste to its entire population. So at what point does capturing Bruce Wayne, a la Batman, become essential to the plan? Shouldn't eliminating Batman be a top priority? You know, since Batman is the only person capable of successfully preventing Protocol 10 from being executed? It's like Hugo Strange wants to become the newest member of the stupid villain club. If you try to stop me, I guarantee everyone will know your secret. That has got to be one of the dumbest, emptiest threats I've ever heard in my life. Who's to say the public won't embrace Bruce Wayne as Batman? Who's to say Bruce Wayne won't embrace everyone knowing that he's Batman? He could just be like, Everything is Batman! Everything is cool when you are the Dark Knight! Everything is Batman! Because it's Batman! Yeah! In total disregard for the law, for society. What the hell are you doing? How does escaping from a chair that's not connected to any alarm automatically sound off the alarm? Now this is absolutely hilarious. Check this out. So as you can clearly see, I am actively trying to get these guys to shoot Wayne. Bruce Wayne, who Hugo Strange knows is Batman, and Batman being the one person who can derail his plans of completing Protocol 10, and he won't have him killed. Even though I'm actively trying to get him killed. And he won't do this because... why? I guess Hugo Strange really wants to become the newest member of the stupid villain club. Invisible walls. More invisible walls. Stay close to me. Do you think I'm taking advice from some guy who's never even been in a fight? Haha, <laughs> irony. Now this is quite humorous. You can get hit as many times possible and not die, without the suit. But when you put on the suit, there's a limit to how many times you can get punched before you die. Immersion breaking, ain't it? Meanwhile, Jack Ryder continues to get his ass kicked and he's not severely battered or dead. Bruce Wayne takes a lead pipe to the back of the head, without the suit, mind you. I don't care if he is Batman. He should have severe brain damage or be dead. What a waste of a cigar. So let's get this straight. So far, Wayne has had his head smashed against a monitor, taken multiple rifle blows to the head, multiple punches to the head, a lead pipe to his legs, and a lead pipe to his head. But only now, after a simple penguin kick to the head, does he get knocked out cold? <laughs> that shit is so stupid that it's worth two sins. And to make things worse, I blatantly allow Penguin to strike me multiple times with brass knuckles. But after I decide to counter, then hey, Bruce Wayne is perfectly fine because he's Batman. Right on time. Convenience. I'm kind of wondering, if Batman wanted to get into Arkham City, why didn't he just sneak his way in? 
Why did he disguise himself as Bruce Wayne and allow himself to get captured by Tiger Security and be locked up in the prison, only to break free and escape such prison? Intel? That's the only legit excuse I can come up with. Well, game doesn't bother to care about details, so it gets counted as a sin. One size fits all encryption chip. What will happen to Mr. Wayne behind these walls? Known as an international playboy, he will now have to contend with convicted thieves, murderers, and cannibals. Will he have the skills to survive? This broadcast makes it seem like Bruce Wayne entered an episode of Celebrity Deathmatch, which normally would be awesome, but that is not the case. False advertising, I say. We have confirmation that prisoner 4011 is in the courthouse. I repeat, Catwoman is in the courthouse. Tiger security pilot refers to Catwoman by her serial number, only to immediately refer to her by name. Why didn't you just refer to her by name in the first place, asshole? If there's one person in Arkham City who knows what's really going on, it's her. But how? You just heard that Strange doesn't mind her getting killed, and as we later find out, she's not involved with him in any way. You're the world's greatest detective, Batman. You shouldn't proceed with an investigation based on assumptions. I don't understand why they want to fight for this place. Two-Face ends up owning that bit of street. So what? He's still stuck in here. This random thug makes more sense than the main plot of the game. You will solve my riddles and you will collect my trophies. You may not want to, but you must. It's a matter of life and death. You know what you should have said? Because you're Batman. You certainly know how to keep a girl hanging hard. Puns, quips, jokes. Objection. <sighs> Overruled. Two-Face tries to channel his inner phoenix right and fails at it. Heads or tails, kitty cat. Which one lets me out of here alive? Not this one. The inconsistency of Two-Face's coin toss. Earlier, he flipped it and slapped it on the back of his hand. Here, he simply catches and reveals it. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything less from a guy called Two-Face, but it's still sinful. Catwoman defies gravity. Video game or not, that is a sin. Two-Face gets strung up here with both of his hands free, but for some reason his hands and feet are tied behind his back once he's completely strung up from rope that was never there in the first place. How's it hanging, Harv? More puns, quips, and jokes! Come to Kitty. Yeah, there's no way you are able to hide that phone between your boos when they're practically hanging out on display. The only thing buried there is the imagination of my head. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat. Watch me kill your favorite cat. Now this is a massive convenience if I ever saw one. So, riddle me this, viewer. How did Joker know the exact time that Batman would arrive in Arkham City as Bruce Wayne, get captured by Tiger Security, interrogated by Hugo Strange, break free from capture, get knocked around by Penguin for a bit, escape the super prison, hack into Tiger Security to find out the location of Catwoman, rescue Catwoman from said location, and the exact window where Batman and Catwoman would be standing at said location, all while his sniper rifle is fully automated and he wouldn't be able to get a clear shot of Batman and Catwoman had they been standing in a different spot. The answer? He wouldn't, because that's just terrible writing. EXPOSED! This place is dangerous. I like it. Two things. First off, are you really saying that after you literally almost got shot in the head and you were dangling over a pit of acid earlier? Two, you're just now noticing that Arkham City is dangerous? It was Joker. You're not safe here. Yeah, because this place would totally be safe if Joker wasn't here, right? I need to locate where the bullet entered the court and where it impacted. Batman says this even though he clearly saw where the bullet entered the court. Protocol 10 will commence in 10 hours. Oh, thanks for reminding me, Hugo. My short-term memory loss made me forget to care about the main plot of this game. Joker was at the church? Nah, it was Quinn and a bunch of goons. Harley Quinn? I thought Joker dumped that crazy-ass woman months ago. No way. I heard they got married. You wouldn't let a piece of ass like Harley get away. You'd have to be crazy. Yeah, no one ever called those two crazy, did they? Is it bad that the dialogue between random thugs are some of the most entertaining parts of the game? I think it is. I think you should do what he says. It would be a shame to get blood all over my nice new outfit. What do you think, Bad Brain? Like it? What am I saying? Of course you do! Who wouldn't? Sorry, Tara Strong. You're great and all, but Arlene Sorkin was, is, and always will be the best Harley Quinn out there. Unless, of course, Margot Robbie knocks it out of the park in Suicide Squad, in which case I will gladly eat my words. So 
anyway, here's the deal. Mr. J is really not up to a visit right now. He's not feeling himself. Well, actually, he was earlier, but that's not what I meant. TMI. When this is over, I'm gonna make you regret this. This thug is the same actor who voices Aaron Cash, who is a good guy. I don't know if any of you just noticed, but Batman just saved our asses. When this is over, I'm gonna make you regret this. You just need to worry about the bombs. Hurry up now, clock's ticking. <laughs> Pointless augmented reality training exercises. Upgrades and trophies should be reserved for chapter completion and Riddler challenges only. I'm sure glad that someone was nice enough to put this rope here for Batman to land on. Otherwise, we'd have a pretty short game. How does this asshole not spot Batman? What the hell are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead! Come on, Harley. Did you really think that a group of random thugs could kill Batman? Not possible. Because he's Batman! You can just stay down there and burn! Sorry, Harley. He is no longer in the furnace. Alfred, Joker's holed up in the manager's office in the steel mill. I'm sure you'll find a way, sir. Of course I will. I know this might be getting annoying at this point, but that was the perfect opportunity to say, BECAUSE I'M BATMAN! But he wasted it. Batman punches this thug's ass to knock him out. Convenient remote electrical charge is convenient. Protocol 10 will commence in 9 hours. Thanks again, Hugo. I keep forgetting about that. Ready for a doozy one viewer? Check this out. So we later find out that Clayface is the fake Joker covering up for the ill real Joker. And in the flashback, we see that the real Joker was in fact still alive. However, in this scene, the Joker that you see here laying motionless is in fact the real Joker. And as you can see from Batman's detective mode scanning, it clearly says that he is deceased. Either Batman has faulty technology or this is a plot twist inside a plot twist. And if that's the case, it wouldn't make any sense because the real Joker is clinically dead, which means the remaining Joker scenes in this game should not exist. Two-Face said she lives somewhere near here. So what? How does he know? How am I supposed to know? I, I don't question the boss. You shouldn't either. Obedience. Cool, but that is borderline OP. Venus Envy. Scene does not contain Zonton. No one's who you think they are, my dear. Why spoil the fun? Not so subtle foreshadowing. This stuff is killing me. Why should I care? <laughs> because now... There's a teeny little bit of me in you too, bats! This is only a sin if you are thinking the exact same thing as I am. Oh, didn't I say? I've spent weeks shipping samples of my blood to emergency rooms all over the city. Couple of things wrong with this. First, you must have some pretty crappy hospitals if they accept samples of blood without first checking them for toxins. Two, since Joker says this has been going on for weeks, it stands to reason that a number of the sick and elderly should have died from this mysterious poison, have the hospitals check for contaminated blood, stop using it, have the news stations report on it, and everyone be informed of this atrocity. Which clearly did not happen. Why didn't you do what I said? Random thugs prove once again to be the most entertaining aspect of the game. The specification... I need to set up a crime scene here. It's the only way to find out who killed this man. Batman cares about setting up a crime scene after he literally saw someone get shot right before him, seemingly not caring if the shooter might reload and try to kill him. The shooter never does, which means this gets counted as a double sin. Deadshot is in Arkham City. What's he doing there? Is he a prisoner? It seems unlikely, but I'm not ruling anything out. So, it's the world's greatest detective versus the world's deadliest assassin. Unlikely, because Batman is not going up against Agent 47. This is the closest thing to Batman teabagging as you're gonna get in this game. One size fits all encryption chip again. Where's Freeze? He's in the museum. Penguin's got him. How did Penguin of all people manage to capture Mr. Freeze, who is one of Batman's most intelligent antagonists? Even with his goons, Freeze would have iced all of them. Penguin has got his hands on Freeze and trapped me in the GCPD building. You do realize that you will actually die if you don't get this cure soon. Alfred is a dick to Batman. Discount Jesse Pinkman. Quincy Sharp. Protocol 10 will commence in seven hours. Okay, now you're just getting annoying at this point. If you have to keep reminding the player about the main plot of the game, then you have failed at storytelling. Something's blocking communication back to the Batcave. 
Penguin must be using military-grade communication disruptors. The only way to crack this security is to destroy them. Batman somehow triangulates a signal to a communications disruptor without a reference point he would need to actually triangulate. The jamming tower has three terminals attached. I'll need to destroy all three to shut it down. Video game cliche number six. Destroy three of anything to progress to the next objective. Penguin sounded pissed. Batman's been screwing with his plans. Do those things even work underground? I read the manual. It never said anything about working underground. This random thug will be excellent at gaming sins. I was thinking that exact same thing. And it'll never be explained how it works underground, so... Stop him! He's making you look like a bunch of girls. That's sexist. This is not the MK2 I am looking for. I hope you're right, man. I got a bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about this, cliche. I love it. What a pathetic attempt at a jump scare. Bring out the big guy! Wait, so this titan monster was in there this whole time and he could have easily broken out at any moment but only now decided to? The situation is worse than I thought. Penguin has a supply of the titan formula. He's got what? How do you get titan off Arkham Island? Oracle would be excellent at gaming sins. Also, hey there Oracle. Nice for you to join us, nearly halfway through the game. Don't know why, since Alfred has basically been doing your job for you. This one is strictly a game design sin. This lift only exists for the purposes of Batman's shock rifle. Otherwise, it would be completely useless and there would be no other way to get to the top because the level design does not allow it. I see that Batman is still creating explosives that don't also damage him. Dumbass Penguin is wasting the perfect opportunity to kill Batman, which is what he wants. You wouldn't believe the fight the old snowman put up. Which brings me back to the sin I said earlier about how you, even with your goons, managed to best Mr. Freeze. Details, man. They are important. No! No! Ice Capsule decides, eh, we'll let this guy live. Leave his face free so that Batman can save him. When you're done in here, feel free to join me in the Iceberg Lounge so I can kick your ass again. Again? Motherfucker, you have never kicked Batman's ass. Ever. You may have kicked Bruce Wayne's ass in the beginning of the game, but you don't know that he's Batman. We interrupt this Batman game to bring you a segment of Resident Evil. He's like a mobile garbage truck. Whatever I drop in that tank just vanishes. Poof. Penguin says this, and when I turn on detective mode, I can still see bodies that have not been vanished. Bullshit. Force field prevents me from ending this fight early. Cobblepots turned this place into a fortress. Someone ratted us out. Me and the boys got grabbed, brought here, and beaten the crap out of. But we'll skip over that minor detail and not bring that traitor to justice because... Game. No sign of Freeze, just his suit. He can't survive without it. Further proving my point as to how Penguin transported Freeze all the way across the city to this museum and lock him in a display case without sub-zero temperatures and him remaining alive as we later find out. What are you waiting for? Do you need your mommy? Come on, Batman. How'd he do that? You said he couldn't get through. Rule number one in combating Batman, never taunt him unless you know for sure he cannot escape defeat. No! Today is not a good day to push me, Victor. I agree, Batman. However, it is also not a good idea to threaten the life of the only man who can create the cure you need to survive. What if that was the last of Freeze's oxygen supply and he died? You would have no cure, you would die, Gotham would die, and you would be breaking your only rule, thus defeating your whole purpose of being Batman. There's a, a security override chip I built into the suit to stop anyone using my weapons against me. How did that work out for you? Good point! When I leave here, wait ten minutes. Then get this over to Freeze. How do you expect them to get that to Freeze when he's on the other side of the museum and that gap is covered in water with a shark in it and they don't have a grapple gun or paddle to get them across? That's all you need to defeat Jaws and he will not take revenge. These police officers magically vanish once Penguin detonates the iceberg. I tried to help you, Batman. I gave you the opportunity to end this and walk away, but oh no. You had to be the big man. Yeah, that's not what you said earlier. When you're done in here, feel free to join me in the iceberg lounge so I can kick your ass again. Well, guess what? From up here, 
You look pretty small. Bah, short villain taunts hero when he's standing far above them, cliche. <laughs> yeah, it's never been funny and it never will be. Badass Solomon Grundy boss battle does not last longer. Nope, you should be electrocuted. Finding a suitable enzyme is not the only problem. It needs to be adapted, bonded to human DNA. That will take decades. Time, it appears you do not have. What if I told you I know a man who's been exposed to that enzyme for centuries? Convenient plot point is convenient. His name is Raish al Ghul. Bring him to me. Highly trained and disciplined League of Shadows assassin foolishly breaks her cover and leaves a trail for Batman to follow. All because he is not worthy of speaking the holy name of Rachel Ghoul. She's a member of Talia's elite guard. I knew it. What is it about that woman that makes her instantly the most important person in your world? I feel a great disturbance in the force. It's called jealousy. Skip! Are you sure this man can provide the missing ingredient? Taking a sin off for that amazingness. That's how I want Freeze to sound like. No way! Yeah, how the hell would Batman be able to get into the museum? That place is locked down tighter than my mother on prom night. What the hell does that mean? You don't want to know. Yeah, I do. Yeah, me too. If you must know, on her prom night she got a little drunk. I told you. She got a little drunk and killed her classmates. Butchered them all with a potato peeler. What? So on prom night, we try to make sure she's tied down. You happy? My apologies for the long sin, but random thugs prove once again to be the most entertaining aspect of the game. Ah! So wait, she waited for Batman, struck him, and then ran off again before finishing him? This is behavior unworthy of the League of Assassins. Highly trained assassin doesn't notice or feel Batman planting a tracking device on her. These two literally pop out of the sky. Robin X Machina. Red Robin. Yum. If Strange really knows who you are, what happens if he tells everyone? Who cares? It's not like he's gonna do it anyway. He literally said at the beginning of the game. And if you try to stop me, I guarantee everyone will know your secret. Yeah, well, we're clearly trying to stop him and he hasn't done it because... Why again? Protocol 10 will commence in five hours. Fuck off, Hugo. I don't even care about the main plot at this point. I am far more interested in these side missions. It looks like Joker is sending his crew down to steal weapons off the Tiger Guards. That's not good. Those guys are armed with the latest military weapons. Oh, you mean guns? thermal scanners, and signal jammers, all of which I have faced in this game already? Unimpressed, I am. First-person point of view of critical plot moments! Discount Witcher logo. Ancient robots apparently had cloud storage, video recording, and zoom and enhance technology. Even Batman agrees that's ridiculous. This is way ahead of the technology that should have been available back then. It looks like a sword fits here. I now dub the Duchess of Conveniences. Protocol 10 will commence in four hours. La 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 la, main plot has been long forgotten. La 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 la. Flashback within a dream cliche. How long have I got? Oh, thank God. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. At this rate, I'd say minutes. Fuck you, game. Joker has been exposed to this toxin for six months and he's still alive. Batman has been exposed to it for mere hours and you're gonna try to convince me he's damn near death? Get the hell out of here, man. Artificial tension is artificial. You should have listened to my warning. There are no friends to save you down here. Stop! I see even Talia has convenient timing. You didn't need to get yourself arrested to see me, Bruce. After that night we spent in Metropolis. Whoa, whoa, that night in Metropolis? Where the hell is that DLC and why isn't it in this game? Destiny will decide your fate. Fate and destiny are the same thing. Also destiny. Complete this final challenge and the blood of the demon will give you the gift of eternal life. Come on guys, drinking from a chalice, blood of the demon, eternal life. You can be a little more subtle than that. Not a sin at all, just for your entertainment. 
Jesus imagery, but is nothing like Jesus. Best boss battle in the game does not happen at the end. You should have killed me. Yes, he should have. What kind of a man sacrifices his own daughter? What kind of daughter tries to sacrifice her own father to fulfill her own destiny? My father is old. His time is over. Ours is just beginning. Take his blade. Kill him. Accept your destiny. Accept our destiny. Yeah, thought so. Protocol 10 will commence in... Skip! Strange gives them to me, okay? Can we be BFFs again? Hearing Joker say BFF in any sentence is just a sad day for the world. And very sinful. The formula is complete. The bonding process appears to have been successful. Yeah, notice how he says it appears to be successful. That's not a confirmation. You didn't even test that, did you, Victor? So you know that override code for Freeze's gun that we gained earlier? Yep. Can't use it in this boss battle, cause that would make too much sense. It's over. That was all I could manufacture. Harley Quinn took it. How did Harley know the cure was in the safe when she was never there to witness Freeze put it in? And how does she even know the cure works? Details, man. They are important. Floating Joker card. Perhaps I can help. I've been working on a new projectile system. Maybe these will provide the edge you need. Freeze, you have a freaking ice gun. What the hell do you need ice grenades for? Oh, that's right. Game demands a new gadget for Batman. This damn chopper is actually gaining altitude after being hit. This guy has terrible peripheral vision. The shot of putting a bullet through that annoying reporter's face. Vicky Vale is the only one to survive this crash, because reasons. Glitchy shadows. First person point of, you know what, you already get the point. Protocol 10 will commence. Skip! Let me explain how this is gonna go down. I'm gonna drop you down into that pit. The sin here is that they never actually drop him in the acid, no matter how long you wait here. Believe me, I tried. I know, I'm a twisted son of a bitch, but you wanna know why it's a sin? Because even when you save him, the thug attacks you anyway. Ungrateful swine! This does not go where I want it to go. There's nothing you can teach me, Joker. Oh, come on! There's always something to learn. Let's start with getting your ass kicked 101. That line. Yeah, people. That was concrete that just smashed and buried Batman. How has he not been turned into flatbread? There's only so many because he's Batman jokes I can make. Do we have a deal? Trusting Joker. Shit, you might as well put the Grim Reaper over Talia to signal how doomed she is. Wait, you two are still going at it? Selena, you got caught like seven hours ago. What the hell have you two been doing this whole time? Oh. I'm taking off five sins because I can actually make Catwoman drop it like it's hot. She be like, Girl, you look good, won't you back that ass up? You's a fine motherfucker, won't you back that ass up? How does that feel, Ivy? Catwoman is a dick to plants. Random spawning enemies. Okay, I have to commend Rocksteady for being ballsy enough to pull this off. If you decide to be an asshole and leave Batman to die, the game simply ends. Just like that. Poof! Vamos, son of a bitch! But the reason why it's getting counted as a sin is that it literally rewinds the game and forces you to save Batman. No, really. If you try it again, the game will leave you no other option. I can't leave Batman to die. I need to find him. This renders that whole choice segment utterly pointless. Which brings me to this. How is there a random camera pointing at Batman from above when the roof has collapsed? Well, that was easy. We have at long last defeated the great Batman. Rule number two when combating Batman. Never claim victory when Batman is still breathing. As we move into the final stage of Protocol 10, I would like to congratulate all Tiger Forces on this wonderful achievement. My projections show that within three hours, every single inmate of Arkham City will be dead, and Protocol 10 will move into Stage 2. Dr. Strange says Protocol 10 is nearing Stage 2 when he just said that it was approaching its final stage. What do you think you are doing, Wayne? You cannot stop me. I have one. Breaking rule number two again. Understand this. You cannot defeat me. I am untouchable. Breaking rule number two again. I applaud your arrogance, Doctor Strange. Oracle, shut this place down. 
My pleasure. So, all you need to deactivate Protocol 10 is flip a switch, huh? Just like that? Well, that's pretty easy. And what about those choppers that are still blasting the city to hell? Is Oracle's hacking gonna stop them? No? No? Well, alrighty then. Gotham will forever thank Hugo. Strange! Hugo! Strange! You have just been demoted to garbage tier. Also, apparently Rachel Ghoul has teleporting abilities because he literally appeared out of nowhere, even though Batman is looking in the direction where he would have been able to notice Rache appear. Also, am I the only one that is not surprised by this plot twist? Achieving balance in the world by the cleansing of criminal scum, that has always been Rachel Ghoul's ultimate goal. So the fact that he turns out to be the mastermind behind everything doesn't shock me at all. Unsurprising plot twist is unsurprising. When you came to me with Batman's identity, I gave you this chance to prove your worth. Uh, Raish, your daughter Talia already knows Batman's real identity. You could have just asked her. Oh look, villain has a self-destruct system. Cause I haven't seen that a thousand times before. It was never you. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> well, sometimes. <laughs> uh, confusing, isn't it? I know I'd want to know just what the hell is going on if I were you. I already explained why this is a sin. Skip! You're making me late for my spa treatment. I mean, it's not like you've got a girl to save anymore, is it? <laughs> Actually, he's got plenty to save. Catwoman, Vicky Vale, Julie Madison, Sasha Bordeaux, Andrea Beaumont, Linda Page, Silver St. Cloud, Natalia Knight, Rachel Caspian, Lorna Shore, Robin. Joke's on you, Joker. These bombs appear out of nowhere. Um, Batman just made Clayface fall into the Lazarus pit. Let that sink in for a bit, people. If this goes where I think it could go, Gotham is f***ed. Every decision you've ever made ends with death and misery. People die. I stop you. You'll just break out and do it again. <laughs> Batman is only now coming to this realization. So, that was the only cure available. Rachel Ghoul is dead, so you can't formulate more, and I doubt Freeze would help out Batman and make the cure since he never found Nora. So basically everyone who is poisoned by Joker is now dead. Unless they come up with some bullshit excuse in Arkham Knight, Batman has failed this city. Joker dies. Haha, <laughs> irony. And of course the cops show up after everything has already been settled. F*** the police. Man, come to stick the knife in some more.